never made just banana muffins before. I've made banana chocolate chip, but I've got some of these that need something done with them. So we're gonna make some banana, just banana muffins today, and I'm gonna bring you with me. So let's go make them. All right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to mash up our bananas in a bowl and then we're gonna add basically all of our wet ingredients and then we're gonna add all of our dry ingredients to a separate bowl, mix them together and then combine them both. So to start, I'm going to add these three large ripe bananas to a bowl and I'm gonna mash them with a fork until there's no chunks left or as chunky as you want them, but pretty small. Um, and then I'm going to add in the sugar, egg, and oil and mix with a wooden spoon. So we're gonna need, for the sugar, three quarters of uh, a cup of sugar, one egg, and a third cup of oil. And we're gonna add that to the banana. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here is our mashed up banana. You can see it's not very chunky. Um, <laughs> I keep tipping it, but it's moving. But anyways, that's our banana. Now we're going to add in three quarters cup of oil, one egg, and what else did we have to add in? The sugar, so three quarters cup of sugar. So let's do that. Okay, so there we go. We've got this incorporated. You can see that, um, how big the chunks of banana are. Not very big at all, but to your desire. Now what we're going to do is in a separate bowl, we're going to put the rest of our ingredients. So our flour, our baking powder, baking soda, and salt. And then we're gonna mix that together and we're going to incorporate it into this one here. So what we're going to mix in is a, what are we doing? Okay, one and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of baking powder, and then half a teaspoon of salt. So you're gonna see me put them in this bowl. I'll give them a quick mix up, and then I'll put them in to the wet ingredient bowl, and I'll mix them together and then they'll be good to go in the oven. So let's get the dry ingredients put together. All right, I thought I'd show you before I stir it up actually. So as you saw, this darker stuff here is actually what I put in. I don't know if you've seen any of my videos previous to this one, but I love incorporating more fiber into our diet as a family, especially the kiddos. And I found this fiber wise, it's called, it's really, really good. It's like a substitute to put fiber in, but it's in the form of an all purpose flour. So I use it and incorporate it into my mixtures. So what I did was I did about um, a cup and a quarter of flour because it calls for a cup and a half. And I put a cup um, and a quarter of flour and then a quarter of this about. So. If, you're, if you don't use this and you don't have a fiber to add in, don't just do the normal recipe like I already mentioned. But now what I'm gonna do is mix this together and put it into the wet ingredients. So let's do it. All right, and there you have it. So super quick, super easy. We're gonna now put them into muffin tins. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so there we go. They are all ready and ready to go in. So let's put them in the oven. All right, so here they are. Let's put them in the oven. So now they're gonna go in there on 350 for 23 minutes. It says anywhere from 22 to 25 minutes. So let me start my timer for 23 and then uh, I'll show you what they look like when they're done. Okay, so they are done. They've got about two minutes left and I put them on for 23 minutes. So they took 21. <laughs> so they're 
sorry about that. There they are, and they look super, 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 super good. You can see there's where I put the toothpick, <laughs> and it came out clean, so we are good to go. And there we go. These are just straight, plain Jane banana muffins, and they look and smell absolutely incredible and they actually turned out really really well um they're like perfectly browned they're perfectly mush uh, squishy gushy and all the good things i just love 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 how they turned out so i'm going to pack them up now so we can eat them throughout the week um and i've got two more bananas one's kind of extra large so i'm gonna see if i can make another batch and then I'm going to throw some in the freezer. So give this a try for yourself you guys. Let me know in the comments what you think and how they are. Give this video a like and please please share it with your friends and family for anybody who would maybe like to make something really quick at home for their kids and know what's in it and that it's a healthy snack. Um, and as always ring the bell and uh, subscribe so you never ever miss one of these really good videos. Okay guys, have the most amazing day and I'll see you soon. Bye.